Hi everyone, Jason Schaub here from Overland Cookery with Hitchfire today bringing you a Thanksgiving special and we're doing something a little different today. We've got the kiddos coming out, we're going to make it really easy, really fun. So we brought the RV out and we're going to be doing a full turkey on the Hitchfire as well as some really nice maple and pecan glazed grilled seasonal root vegetables. Let's check out the inside. Not everyone when you go overlanding has to be doing extreme four wheel drive, especially during Thanksgiving. The most important thing is just being with friends and family. So presentation wise, entire turkey is always going to look really nice, but on a grill, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I went to a local butcher and had a whole turkey butchered into wings, thighs, breasts, and legs, which is going to make it cook a lot more evenly. I'm not going to have overcooked parts and undercooked parts. And in a hitch fire, it should still allow us to get a really nice crispy skin going on top. This is always the messy part, but this is what helps us ensure a really nice golden brown skin. If you rub it down and soften butter. It's also going to help the seasoning adhere. And we're going to start with just salt and pepper until it's mostly way done. And then we're going to finish it with a brown sugar mixed spice rub from Kinder's, which is super nice. Yeah, now it's time to just hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper. We just like to season higher up because it helps get a more uniform application. If you pinch real close up, you know, you get hot spots of seasoning. If you go higher up, then it's more uniform. Okay, so our turkey's all seasoned up and our grill is preheated up to 400, nice and hot. And I've always had the best experience. This goes with chicken, a big thick bone in pork chops, any kind of thicker cut of meat that it's really best to go low and slow. Unless you're trying to do a steak real fast so it's nice, medium rare inside. Something like poultry, which you want to cook all the way through. Get it nice and hot at first, and then drop it down and cook it for a long period of time. In this case, it'll probably take around an hour, maybe an hour and 15, not too long. And you know, this also goes back to the point where we're not cooking for 15 or 20 people. We're not cooking a, a 20 pound turkey, which would take a lot longer to do. You could do it on here, but it would just, you know, kind of unreasonable. And it's a small family outing today, so this is going to work really well. Yeah, just hitting it with a little extra butter to make sure the skin doesn't dry out. Get that nice golden brown color on it. Okay, well the turkey's just about done, so I'm gonna go ahead with our brown sugar seasoning from Kinder's. Fantastic seasoning, although because it does have brown sugar in it, we want to add it towards the end so you don't burn it, but it's gonna impart a really nice smoky sweet flavor. We have a nice assortment of seasonal vegetables with this, and I always love to do that, especially for Thanksgiving. You get lots of different color, lots of nutrients in all the different colors of these carrots here. We also get extra starch and potassium from the potatoes, and acorn squash are just classic with Thanksgiving and wintertime in general, because it's, a, again, a seasonal vegetable. Flavors are going to combine really well together with the turkey. We also have some Brussels sprouts that we're going to throw in afterwards, so it should be a nice, well rounded, balanced meal. All right, we're finally ready to eat. The moment has come. We've got our delicious, super crispy skin turkey that we pulled off. It took about an hour and 20 minutes. Did it on the hitch fire, worked great, especially splitting it up like we did. We've got some roasted Brussels sprouts with rutabagas, beets, shallot, and thyme that we did in the cast iron. We've got some candied heirloom carrots with some uh, new potatoes that we did a little bit of maple butter on with some fresh cinnamon sticks and a little bit of acorn squash on the side with fresh lemon to garnish. So let's enjoy.
Yeah. 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 Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>